What the heck is the deal with Spiel? Ici Billy Box Guitar. C'est quoi l'affaire avec Spiel? is what the deal with Spiel is. Let's have a little fun. Black and old straight cat sitting on a fence. Ain't got enough dough to pay the rent. I'm flat broke. I don't care. Strut right by with my tail in the air. Straight cat strut. I'm a lettuce cat. I feel a casting over. Hey man. Guys, it's Shane Spiel. And this is What's a Deal with Spiel, my little weekly segment brought to you by the guys at cbgiddy.com. And what I am playing here is I guess it's not super secret, but it is unreleased. This is the upcoming um what is it called? The Country Roads banjo kit from CB Giddy. And what it has is an actual drum head in there four strings and it is tuned in standard tenor banjo tuning which is GDAE GDAE it's strange for you slide guitarists and um, you other cigar box guitar folks that are used to playing open G or other open chords GDAE is a standard tenor banjo tuning it is based on uh, everything from like violin mandolin it's in fifths and so you need to learn new chords if you're going to be playing in this tuning now luckily there are chord charts all over the internet free if you go on Google and you just type in uh, tenor banjo chord charts you're gonna find them all with the little black dots and it's really not that hard I've only learned enough chords to get by with a few songs. I use this tuning in concert uh, whenever I do Stray Cat Strut, whenever I do um, my original song, Everybody Get a Rock. Everybody Get a Rock, Corner Be a Fire, to open another band on Saturday night. Call them Rusty Dazzy, now they can't deny it. Everybody Get a Rock, Corner Be a Ride. And uh, I also do like Fish and Blues. You going fishing all the time, baby. Going fishing too. So it's a lot of fun. It has a nice lows and nice highs. However, if you are not used to tenor banjo tuning, let me show you how you can hack this tuning, especially for this new upcoming kit for the CB Giddy Country Roads banjo kit. If you don't want to play in this tuning, but you want a banjo sound. Let me show you a couple things you can do to change the tunings, and the strings will take it. I am actually going to be tuning them down some, and the strings will allow this, and they won't get too floppy. So first of all is, uh, let's go to open G four string, G, D, G, B. G and D, the first two notes stay the same. And then this one, which is um, A, goes down to G there's and then last one which is uh, D goes down to B so there's your standard open G four string GB. 
So you can go on my YouTube and you can find all the four string lessons on OpenG and they will work, especially on this new CB Giddy Country Roads banjo kit that's coming out soon. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I'm supposed to do this. This is a sponsored show. So the other tuning is G modal. I want to show you and it's one simple one. It's G, D, G, D. So it is G, D, G, and then this high string, let's take this back up to D. So this has no sharps or flats. It is just a straight power chord. If you're into one finger playing, um, all the stuff that you learned on three string cigar box guitar with one finger would work on G modal. G, D, G, D. Now I like G modal because I play some of these riffs where I start on this string here, the third string, third fret, and I go three, two, open, and then the second string, three, open, three, open. And it gives that Appalachian sort of feel. Basically, you could just play 3-2 open, 3-2 open the whole way down. Now, I'm not going to teach a lesson in this video. This is me showing off a tuning. Uh, maybe eventually I'll show you some of those uh, little licks, those like Appalachian murder ballad sounding licks. There you are. There's a couple hacks for four string banjo tuning. You don't need to keep it in tenor banjo tuning. Take it down to open G or G modal and have a lot of fun with it. That's what's the deal with Spiel. And I want to thank CBGiddy, cbgiddy.com, for sponsoring this lesson. I also want to thank them for sending me this kit, which I had a lot of fun building. Now, I used a walnut stain on here, and I used walnut because it has that really old-time look to it. And then I bombarded the whole thing with polyurethane. The other thing I did different with this one than I did on any other CB Giddy kit was on the back of the neck. The neck is squared off when it's sent to you. In the past, I've routed just the corners off. As you can see here, I just took corners off right there and just sanded it. Well, this one, I routed the corners and I used wood rasps and just slowly rounded the whole thing. It took a while, but it was almost like meditation as I did it. I put the neck into my vise and I just slowly worked that rasp until I got the C shape uh, that I wanted on this neck. Now it feels fantastic. It's the first time I worked with a wood rasp and the only wood rasp I had was one that I found at a yard sale. However, it was a lot of fun to do, um, especially as you're taking your time building an instrument for yourself. You know, you just do all those little extra things because, you know, you're exploring, you're learning these things. So again, thank you CB Giddy for the prototype kit. The banjo head does not come painted like this. It comes plain. And this one was painted uh, by my friend Holly Johns. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, one more thing. The new Gene Simmons panda shirt is over at guitarrags.com. If you're wondering, yes, I had to wear a panda shirt. Why not? It's Giddy Gang show that this is originally airing on and the panda is everything. So God of Thunder is the name of the shirt over Guitar Rags. Okay, you guys take care. I will talk to you soon and uh, I will play a little outro. Here we go.